Okay, so welcome back. This is part two of how to make custom firmware and this is patching the VSH module files. So in the last video uh, we went through what you need to do to set up and we went through extracting the CoreOS files, the VSH module files and the Explore Category Game XML. As I said, this is literally just to make basic standard custom firmware. Uh, CEX custom firmware, no frills firmware. My firmware contains a lot more patches and a lot more modded files and stuff. Um, but as the series progresses, and you know, if I if I do get a lot of um, people wanting me to extend the series, then I'll go into uh, things like how to add the Cobra payload, how to update it, how to add various bits and pieces to the firmware. Okay, so let's carry on. Right, so first a bit of information. So the .self and .sprx files are the containers um, of the file after it's been encrypted uh, or signed with the keys. The ELF or the PRX file uh, is, the f is the file either before it's been encrypted or after it's been decrypted. Uh, so we need the PRX or the uh, or the ELF files to patch because we can't patch the SPRX files because it's already it's encrypted so there's no point. Okay, so you want to open up, uh, come into your making custom firmware folder, open up SCE tool. Now this is the program that Sony uses to sign their files. Um, so this is the program that we're going to use to decrypt their files. Okay, so there's an SCE tool list text document you need these files on system 32 they will be on system 32 if you followed the readme text document on how to set it up um, and then you need to make sure that these fi files are inside this folder um, if you have a problem and SCE tools not working correctly just contact me and I'll help you sort it out um, so what you want to do is copy these VSH module files uh, and you want to paste them into SCE tool and then you can close off the official firmware files okay so first I'll show you how to manually decrypt a file so let's say for example we want to decrypt the VSH self into a VSH elf so what we do is we type SCE tool dash D for decrypt and then the name of the file that we want to decrypt and then space and then the name of the file that we want to output so it'll be um, SCE tool space dash D space VSH self space VSH elf and then press enter and as you can see over here it's written into an elf so we've got the self file which is encrypted and then we've got the self which is de uh, the elf file which is uh, decrypted um, let, let's just go through it one more time let's do the NAS plugin so let's say SCE tool space dash D for decrypt uh, NAS underscore plugin dot sprx so that's the file that we want to decrypt space and then nas underscore plugin dot prx so that's our output file press enter and then as you can see it's decrypted the sprx file into a prx file so i'm just going to get rid of these okay so i recommend just doing it all manually because um, just go through each file because you'll get a better understanding of how SCE tool works. Getting used to SCE tool is extremely important. Um, okay, so uh, I've made this decryptall.exe, so if you just double tap that, uh, that will decrypt all the SPRXs into PRX files and then delete the SPRXs. Uh, as I say, I'd recommend manually doing it um, and then just deleting the SPRXs yourself. Um, so then what we want to do is open up another making firmware folder, making custom firmware folder and you want to open up patches for standard CEX custom firmware. Um, so you've got the CoreOS patches and you've got the VSH module patches. Um, I was going to add more patches but I haven't at this time. Um, but if I do show you how to do more stuff uh, I'll start to sh um, give you more patches that you'll need. Um, understanding the patch files uh, for every patch there's two numbers in fact uh, I'll just actually show you okay so you've got the name of the file that gets patched uh, I know it says 
dot sprx but it should be dot prx really um so you've got the name of the file that you want to patch you've got what the patch actually does and then you've got the number that we search for and the number that we replace it with now it may it may not seem like um it, it's not very explanatory the way uh, you're just replacing one number with the next um, but if you if you use IDA Pro and you look into the actual functions uh, inside the uh, the file, um, you'll see that what you're doing is you're basically editing the function. So you may be changing the function so that it goes a different way. You may be nopping the function so that it doesn't run or looping the function back to the beginning. You're doing whatever it is that is necessary in order to to get that. Um, so again, you know, like explore category game. That's the name of the file. Um, allow installation of unsigned apps and then the top number is the number that you search for and the bottom number is the, the number that you replace it with um, as you can see uh, only this section here actually gets replaced so only this section here gets replaced with this section here um, but the reason I've got this extra section at the end and the extra section at the beginning is because you need to make sure that you patch in the right place um, so there'll only be one instance of this combination in that file um, okay so let's start off in order let's start off with the basic plugins in fact let me just close that down uh, so if you've installed HXD which you should have done in the setup um, open up HXD drag the basic plugins into there in fact to tell you what we'll do we'll drag them all over uh, highlight them all we'll drag them all in and then we'll just mod them one by one okay so first we've got the basic plugins um, and we want to add red screen adf bypass into the basic plugins so what we'll do is we'll copy um, this number the first the first line we'll find that uh, paste that into there hex values or direction all and then click OK and if you press F3 uh, as you can see it says can't find that number so that's the only one instance in this um, in this file so we know that we're at the right place um, so what you want to do is you want to copy the second number and then you want to right click on there and paste right don't paste insert paste right so it will overwrite that number uh, then we'll move on to the explore category game um, and we search for this number paste okay so there you go if you press f3 you see you'll see it's the only instance um, and then we copy the second number from underneath which is the actual patch and then we right click on the blue part that we've got highlighted and we paste right so it overwrites it uh, we do the explore plugin let's copy that find Paste that into there. We still want to search for hex values and all. Um, press F3. As you can see, there's only the one instance. So then we replace that pattern with this pattern. Um, and then we right click, paste right, don't forget. Uh, then we'll go to the NAS plugin. NAS plugin is a little bit different because it's got three patches. Um, so we've got allow debug packages, allow retail packages, and disable the ECDSA check. Um, paste so again if you press F3 um, you, you won't have to press F3 just because I know for a fact that all these patches that I've given you um, are, cor are correctly placed but it's always good practice just to um, just just to make sure because you never know um, but as I say I can guarantee the, these are my search patterns that I've, I've always used so um, uh, then we'll find so we stay on the, on the NAS plugin as you can see just can't find it again uh, copy and we'll paste right that and then we'll do the last one which is disabling the ECDSA check on packages you can do that from the level 2 I think you can do it from the uh, uploader as well but um, I don't know I just everyone patches it differently I prefer it to do it from the NAS plugin <coughs> uh, right click paste right okay so <coughs> the VSH is slightly different because the if I just pull this up so I can get um, more of the VSH in. Um, so the VSH.self, um, it's got two patches for React PSN. 
and these patches they change like the combination that you're searching for changes over time now um, you always you always replace it with the same thing so the replace is always the same but if you have a look here see these three X's that I've put there these three numbers change um, every firmware version uh, and the same for these four X's here um, but I'll, I'll show you how we do that so first we'll go through the VSH um, and we'll just put the other patches in so search for that and replace it with that uh, search for this one find and then replace it with this patch okay so we'll bypass these two react psm ones for the time being and i'll just show you and i'll just go through the other ones Okay, so this is to run unsigned apps. So this actually lets you um, run them. We patch the Explore Game plugin to let us install them, uh, and we patch the VSH to let us actually run them. Okay, replace that. Let's try. Right, this is the PSP DRM check. Uh, I think that came in at uh, 4.75. I think this came in at so if you make firmware that's lower than 4.75 you don't need to uh, oh, hang on uh, you don't need to uh, add that patch um, this is to disable the uh, the epilepsy warning message so it starts uh, I have got a patch to uh, disable the cold boot as well um, so if you want to disable the cold boot and the epilepsy warning um, just message me and I'll, I'll send you that patch it just makes the PS3 boot really really quick um, so it doesn't bother with the cold boot and it doesn't bother with the uh, the warning message it's quite good it, it just makes the PS3 boot up really fast um, okay so this will be the last one okay so <clears throat> I'll show you these two React PSN patches now um, okay so uh, the way I do it is um, with the first one if you search from uh, if you search this string here uh, leave, leave the 5 out because it needs to be even numbers um, so if you search for this string here okay now with this one um, you see that that's the only instance of it yeah uh, so we know that the numbers after are 5 3 3 1 so up here you'd have you'd replace those three X's with 5 3 three one um no sorry three three one so that it's five so that it's five three three one uh so then we'll copy this search find paste okay and then press f3 just to make sure we've got the right one uh and then we'll replace it with uh with the knob uh, oh hang on right click paste right um, so this next one um, the next one down is slightly different so I'd I mean I'd, I don't know if you wanted to uh, I mean you could put a little note next to it so you could say that's 480 um, so then uh, if I just paste another version of that um, so then you can actually put the three X's back in um, so you know then for the next firmware version you've got to search, search this I mean it might be the same it's been the same since about 470 something um, but ev every so often it does change uh, so you just need to be aware that these two patches they do change um, I found in uh, 476 or 478 I think it was um, went with my DEX firmware if I use these same React PSM patches you couldn't disable your um, your uh, here you couldn't disable your um, or deactivate your console uh, big up to Pete Platt who um, who actually informed me about that so I had to look into it um, but anyway um, so uh, and then you know like if you if you find that you know 4.90 comes out and then this combo is 661 then you can add a little dash 4.90 so that you know each version is each version um, 
but that's the so that that's the combination for 480 uh, so with the second react psm patch you want to search everything before the x's um, so you want to copy that and then you want to go search find paste okay now with this there's going to be more than one instance of this search combination um, but with with this search combination it's always the first one um, so if you if you hold shift and press uh, f3 it goes backwards um, so as you can see here the combination is uh, this number here and then the four the four mystery numbers and then a knob um, so as you can see here these four numbers here um, and then there's a knob there so if we go to the next one oh, hang on. uh, so if we go to the next one over here uh, as you can see these are the uh, these are the four numbers, but there's no um, uh, 60 million knob, um, so it's not that one. It's not going to be that one because there's no 60 million knob. It's not going to be that one. It's not going to be that one. Okay, there you go. As I say, it, it always ends up being the first one, but you just want to double check just to make sure. Um, so in the case of 480, it's going to be A409. So we're going to replace these four X's with A409. And then just pull that out a bit. Uh, so again, that's going to be um, for version 4.80. Uh, so then what we'll do is we'll copy that. Search, find, right click, paste. And then that should be the only instance. Yep. And then we replace it with our patch. Oh, right click right so all these have been patched um, in fact I'll tell you what I'll do I'll um, save these text documents with the no I won't actually I'll leave it with the X's and then let you edit them um, don't save right okay so if you um, once you've patched all the VSH module files if you close it with the red cross uh, save changes yes 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 okay so what you want to do is um, you'll get these back files which are the original versions so this is the version that we've just modded and this is the back version um, so just delete off the back versions because we're not going to need those <clears throat> okay now what you want to do is on your making custom firmware where you're in your patches you want to go to um, where are we uh, file signings for SCE tool uh, you've got the core OS signings, so I've put um, the signings for each one and put the signings for the uh, VSH module. Now what the signature basically does is, um, so if you open up the command DXE, you see we've got the PRX files here. So we need to re-sign them with the encryption that's going to work on 355 official firmware or custom firmware. Um, so we need to sign them correctly so what you'll do is if you double click the uh, so let's say the basic plugins so this is the signature for the basic plugins um, so if you right click select all uh, right click copy and then paste that into SCE tool as you can see this is the signature of the uh, of the file um, if you then press enter as you can see file compressed file encrypted uh, basic plugins SPRX written um, so now we've got the PRX that we modded but we've got the modded SPRX file um, so if we close that down open up the category game uh, select all copy paste that into there press enter okay so now then that's encrypted the category game um, the the only thing that changes with these uh, signatures is the firmware version um, so as you can see this is 4.80 uh, so say 4.90 comes out you'll change the 80 to 90 it, everything else is the exact same signature you just change the actual version um, so let's close that off let's do the explore I think the video is lagging on a bit now uh, paste okay so basically you want to go through all all your file signings copy paste VSH, this is the last one. Copy, paste into there, press enter. Right, okay, so that signed all the files, so you can close 
this folder down, close SCE tool, command DXE. Okay, so um, so we've got our signed custom firmware VSH module files. So if we open up the custom firmware files and VSH, so we want to highlight the .sprx files, leave the prx files and the vsh.self, uh, and we want to drag them into custom firmware files. So these are our modded files, um, and then we've got the prx's left over. If you just double 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 click on the clean folder exe, and it will delete them for you. Uh, nice, it's good to keep everything nice and tidy. Uh, there is this resign vsh module.exe. So if you double click this, um, it will actually sign all the files for you, but I recommend doing it manually so that you get used to it. Um, it, it, it makes more sense for me. Um, okay, so we've got our uh, modified uh, custom firmware VSH module. Um, so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to mod our core OS. So I'm going to show you how to mod the core OS. It's going to be the same procedure as the VSH but obviously it's going to be different patches and it's going to be different file signatures.